story. Joining us now with his take, David Callahan, Senior Fellow and International Program Director at Demos. Uh, David, thank you very much for joining us. Listen, I understand the beef. Income for the middle class and for most people hasn't gone up at all over the last 20 years. Jobs are scarce. They got reason to be mad. But is going after the top 1% the right way to show that? Well, I think there's much more vilification of the economic and political system that has produced this inequality. And people are angry about that system. You know, there's a new study out by the Congressional Budget Office that finds that the top 1% saw their incomes go up by 275% over the past three decades. I think it's no coincidence that during those same three decades, we've seen a huge influx of new money into politics. Uh, all those lobbyists in Washington, the wealthy have rigged the system in their favor and people are angry i completely agree with everything you just said but how is that going to increase the economic opportunities of the rest of the 99 percent how does going after the one percent raise up everybody else well again it's going after the system uh, that that has stacked so much wealth in the hands of that one percent look one of the findings well, the of system that the system you have to agree because according to mother jones very liberal publication 25% of that 1% are lawyers or doctors. So did they rig it or did they just go to school for a long time? Well, one of the findings of that CBO study is that government has not been playing the role that it used to play in terms of ensuring uh, equal prosperity and distributing the national income because the tax system has become uh, less regressive, less progressive and all of that. Also, don't forget, big part of the story here is the decline of unions and the decline of unionization. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, evidence of, of many corporations using these union-busting tactics to stop workers from joining unions. Well, when you, is, say, when you say decline, this is, okay, I got to correct you because you say decline of national income. There is no national income, right? The United States doesn't produce income. Citizens make income, and they give some percent to the government. We can argue about what's right. But there's no national income. You're talking about moving somebody's money and giving it to somebody else, right? Well, what's, what's, what that CBO study shows is that the, that the share, the piece of the pie that the wealthy have has gotten a lot bigger. I and agree, the share David. The pie... We've agreed on these right. points. How do we raise up the 99%? Well, uh, taxing the 1% more is going to contribute maybe a couple hundred bucks a month in some sort of benefit to somebody else. That's not going to increase their economic opportunity. I think we're on the same page here. How do we yeah. get the 99% up? It ain't by bringing the top 1% down. Well, I think that fiscal policy is definitely one way that you make a, ensure that the pie is more equally shared. But there's other steps, making it easier to join unions. You know, there's been a bill stuck in Congress that would make it easier for people to form unions. Unions are one of the ways that we have historically ensured that the pie is, is equally sliced in this country. You know, back during that period after World War II, everybody did better together. The rich got richer, the middle class did better, and unions were a big part of that story. But there's other parts of the story as well which is, you know, we have to do something about all this, uh, uh, all these lax labor standards. You know, once upon a time... What people... about, it, David, David, I hear you, and, I, and we got to wrap up, but I want to throw out an idea, too, because I do think we actually ha share some ideas. How about Americans making a conscious decision to pay slightly more for American-made products and maybe boosting manufacturing through real organic demand increases? Well, that don't, would... Don't that... we, aren't we a bit to blame in the decline of income by having this sort of culture of cheap? Yeah, no question about it. We've wanted those cheap products. And, you know, one, one way the top 1% has made so much money is by through all that offshoring and outsourcing. We've gotten cheap products. They've gotten richer. But the average middle class household has gotten walloped in the process. Okay. So I think you're right. Paying more for products uh, would be one, one solution right there. More investment yep. in America at home. David, I thought we, you know, this was a little fiery, but I thought we agreed on a lot of points, actually. Not all, but a lot. I welcome you coming on, on the show anytime, and we'll have you on again soon. Thank you. Great very to much. be here. Well, Thank you. Topic that gets a lot of people fired up. Okay, well, coming up.